Hello Sewing and Unsewing friends, Shanice here and I'm giving an update on my next project. This is Simplicity 9287. The view is the lovely lady in the white slacks here. And so I am between a couple sizes. Um, the bus size is uh, size 18 and then the down to the hip, um, it was a size 20. So I know that the area right here was not going to align up with the uh, with the pattern. And if I can kind of hold my arms up. So this is my phone case without the protect the, the rubbery protective cover on there. I didn't feel comfortable. I, I need a new case. And I did not want to take my phone out the case because if I drop it in recording, my phone might fall on the concrete floor and break. So I want to keep my protective case on it. But as you can see on this side here, this is... This is the 18 to 20 zone as is. And you see all this room that I have. So I definitely didn't want it to do that. I didn't want the shirt to be skin tight, but I wanted it to be somewhat fitting. So I pinned it out and I pinned it out as best as I can. Um, I have to pin it out some more. Look, the needle just, the pin just fell out. So I am going to take this in on the sides and on the waist, I'm going to take it in this much and on the hips I'm going to go ahead and take it in this much. so this is how much I'm actually going to be cutting off that is going to give me a better fit compared to what's going on over here another change that I am going to make so I did lower the dart some and I'm actually going to lower it again so if you look at here's the bus start so it is a little bit too high so I'm going to drop it down an inch here and also for the waist start, it is kind of hitting me right at my apex. I'm going to drop this down an inch. So my both my side dart and my waist start both have to be dropped down an inch. And I think that is going to give me the shaping that I want. But if you can see, if I took the side here and kind of pulled it away, so you can kind of see how it's going to turn out. So again excess excess ease all through here all the way to the back see there you go right here all this has to be cut off and over here this is where it's been marked drop in the darts one inch down and i'm going to be ready to rock out with this pattern all right thanks for watching and stay tuned okay i am back at the table and i am going to kind of see let me get the right side this is the side that I've done. I am going to check to see how I need to come in. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to get my pencil. No, I'm going to get a marker. Marker. I'm going to mark kind of how much. I feel it needs to come off. I'm not doing anything scientific right now. I'm just marking kind of where I am all around here. And then I'm going to take all my pins out. Let's go get those out here. And then my sides were pinned together, so I didn't have to pick, I don't have to pick, unpick any stitches. So this is how much needs to be removed. So I'm going to get my front pattern, and again, here is the bust start. Those both have to come down an inch. So I want this to come down an inch and I want my dart here to come down an inch. And I'm getting my pattern. And so this is the pattern that I copied and made, I had to make some waist changes. Um, you probably can't see right here, but the waist was too low. Actually, I can pull my original pattern.
the original pattern here was the waist right here on my pattern my waist is up here so you can see that there is a so I have a short torso so my waist between their waist is about a two and a half inch difference so if I would have made the shirt with this pattern it wouldn't have looked right it would have uh, it would have been very tight around my waist because right here when you look at this this right here is right around the fullest part of my stomach and it's the smallest part of the fabric but and it would it would have hit me at the widest part of my of my uh, torso so that is a change that I've made moving the waist up and then when you move the waist up you also so even though it looks it's hitting my hem is hitting on that hem when you move the waist up you then have to add what you took out at the bottom otherwise this is how much this is how short the shirt would have been so I'm going to go ahead and yeah, mark that my dart needs to come down an inch here and it needs to come down an inch over here so that's one I'm gonna have to run I'm gonna say one change two changes and then Getting rid of this to kind of see where my changes are. But before I do that, you know what? I got to take out my dart. Okay, so I am taking out the dart that I sewn in because I need to get that hole. Uh, so you can see my stitching lines show um, when I did my muslin I, I sew everything when I sew my side seams I sew the dart legs so I don't have to worry about I'm breaking stitches popping some stitches right now because I just pulled them tight okay so there is where my dart was so I'm not going to take out the bot the bottom start because I don't need that the waist or I don't need that taken out for this but I am going to align this up so where so here's my seam allowance and on the pattern that is my my stitching line so i'm going to match up my stitching line match my stitching lines together right here here we go and i'm looking underneath here oh lordy that's a lot I'm going to take out that size 16 would be, yes, size 16 works, but still the bust start. So I'm not sure you can see on camera here. Let me try to get this down. When I lay this up to my pattern of how I cut this, size 16, size 16. Here. Okay. Here is here is the bus start that I sewn. This is where I need to drop it. And then here is the the bus start here. This is where I need to drop it. So the size sixteen works for me as far as the side seam but the darts still have to be moved I need to move my darts so I'm not going to I'm not going to cut them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my size 16 with this tissue paper and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to trace it. All right. I'm going to draw. I'm going to get real close so I can see. I want to draw in my waistline on the pattern. Alright, 
So here's my dirt there. So what I'm going to do is I need to cut this out. Go get my paper scissors. See how this works. And I have to move it to an inch down. And so that's where I want it. And but here's my waist up here. So here is the bottom. Here's the bottom of my, I mentioned up the bottom. Okay, that is my dart lined up with the original one. So for the bottom, I'm just going to pin it. Because this is the waist here. Here's my waist here. So this has to go down an inch. Okay, that's where I want it. That'll work for me. I'm going to put a pin in it. And then the waist, the waist. Uh, so the problem that I'm running into, and I don't have much experience with this, is that this dart, so this dart starts at the top and it kind of gets to its fullness at the waist and then it goes down. So what I'm going to have to do is this is going to have to be, because at, at the fullness, it kind of, it kind of stay, let me see, at the fullness, it is like an inch Then it starts tapering down. Yeah, starts tapering down right before it gets to the waist. So this is what I'm going to do. Let me think. Okay, so I've decided to move my waist the line. I've decided to move the waist of my dart up to my waist. And it's just going to extend down, all the way down to the bottom. And then for the top here, I'm folding it over. And then I need to, this is going to have to curve out. Right here, it's going to have to curve out. So I need my curved ruler. Let me get right back. Okay, so I am back. I'm just going to go ahead and move that and I'm going to move this until I get a nice curve here. All right. And then I'm going to flip this to the other side. There we go. That is going to be my new dart. So let me tape it. Okay. Tape stuck. New way start. Now we got to drop the bus start. We're gonna drop it. And I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to trace it off. I'm just gonna fit because I can see I see this one, it's just two lines. Look right here. One here, right here, tilt it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and mark now that I got my dart I'm going to draw a straight on a straight line around it so I'm drawing a box Okay, 
ici. Okay. Dirt. Dirt goes down two inches. So I have this straight line right here. So I'm just aligning that. I'm just aligning that. So that's an, so I got an inch between my top line and my dart. So I am just going to go from 14 to 13. Lining everything up. I got all these lines on here that I drew. Okay. Put that there while I get my tape. Oh, I need a new tape dispenser. The tape is almost out. Okay, I've moved my dart. I move my dart down. It was here. Now it's down here. Now I gotta fix my side side seam. So to fix the side seam, I'm going to fold out my dart. And I'll put a fold. I'll do the bottom one. I'll put a fold on the bottom dart. Put a crease in there. And I'm gonna take it and bring it up. So the other dart make and I need my tracing. Let me get it. Okay. So fold this up to where it closes. And then with my tracing wheel, I have to close this up. This has to go up like this. So that when I open it, I have my new, I have my new line. So this is going to be that. I'm looking for it. Really see it. That's going to be straight. And that curves around to there because I have all this excess. So now I'm going to start up here. This is actually my seam allowance. Five eighths of an inch. There. And that is my new side seam so that when the dart is closed up. A straight line all the way down okay Whew. now it is time to go ahead and make my outfit so this is this is my pattern it's done I didn't have any changes in the back so here's my back pattern that I traced off you can see um, if I look on the back, this was the waist. So this is this is how much waist I had to get rid of, just like in the front, so that when you line the two up on the side here, goes up, up. Let me close the dart out. Ugh. I got a lot going on down here. Okay. Here we go. Walking, walking, walking. 
And I have a little, let me check this again. Walking. Walking up the dart. And it comes to a point and my notches line up. Still awesome. All right. Whew, I'm excited. Thanks for watching.